This is a video on the chain rule. The question states, find d squared w over dt squared when t equals 2. We have w equals x plus x squared y plus y squared. x is equal to 3t minus 4 and y equals t squared. So to find the second derivative of w with respect to t, we first need to find the first derivative of w with respect to t. So I use a chain rule for that, and that says that dw over dt equals del w over del x times dx over dt plus del w over del y times dy dt. To find the second derivative, I take d over dt of both sides, and I get that d squared w over dt squared is equal to d over dt of this first derivative. So in order to find the derivative of this expression, notice that we have a del w del x times del dx over dt. That's a product of two functions. So I have to use a product rule here. And I'll also have to use a product rule for the second term. So let's do that. The product rule says we take the derivative of the first, so that's d over dt of del w del x times the second, plus the first times the derivative d over dt of the second. And I also do that for the next term. I take the derivative of del w over del y times the second dy dt plus the first times the derivative of the second. To find d over dt of del w over del x, I need to use the chain rule again. So the chain rule says I take the derivative with respect to e of del w del x and then multiply by dx over dt. So I take the derivative with respect to x, which is the second derivative times dx over dt, and then plus the derivative with respect to y. The derivative with respect to y of del w del x is del squared w over del x del y, and then times dy dt, and here's still my dx dt, and then plus I still have my del w del x, and then d over dt of dx dt, that's just the second derivative of x with respect to t. Okay, now I'm working on the next term. I use the chain rule again. d over dt of del w del y is del over del x of del w del y, which is the second partial derivative with respect to x and y, times dx dt, plus del over del y of del w del y, and that's the second partial derivative of w with respect to y, and then times dy dt, then we still have this dy dt, then we still have the plus del w del y, and then d over dt of dy dt is the second derivative of y with respect to t. So there's the chain rule for the second derivative of w with respect to t. It was a lot of work, but there it is. So now I have to find each of these terms. So let's first plug in t equals 2 to get x and y. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4 is 2, that's x, and 2 squared is 4, that's y. So x is 2 and y is 4. Now let's find the partial derivatives. The partial derivative of w with respect to x is 1 plus 2xy. And if I plug in x equals 2 and y equals 4, I get 1 plus 2 times 2 times 4 is 17. The partial derivative of w with respect to y is x squared plus 2y. If I plug in 2 and 4, I get 12. Okay, so now let's find the second partial derivatives. The second partial derivative of w with respect to x 
will just be 2y. And if I plug in 4, I get 8. The second partial derivative of w with respect to y is just 2. And the mixed partial derivatives, I take the derivative with respect to y of 1 plus 2xy, and I get 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. So there's my partial derivatives of w, first order and second order. Now let's find the derivatives of x and y with respect to t. So dx dt is 3, dy dt is 2t, and 2 times 2 is 4. The second derivative of x with respect to t is the derivative of 3, that's just 0. And the second derivative of y with respect to t is the derivative of 2t, which is 2. So now I have all of the numbers I need to plug in. So let's plug them in one at a time. Del squared w over del x squared, that was 8. dx over dt was 3. Del squared w over del x del y, that was 4. dy over dt, that's also 4. And then dx over dt, that's 3. Del w over del x, that was 17 d squared x over dt squared, that was 0. del squared w over del x del y, that was 4. dx over dt, that was 3. del squared w over del y squared, that was 2. dy over dt is 4. So there's dy over dt is 4 again. Del w over del y was 12, and d squared y over dt squared is 2. So now I just have a very long expression with all numbers, and I can put this into my calculator. And I got 224. So I can say that the second derivative of w with respect to t, when t equals 2, is 224. And I'm done with the problem.